Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again here on my own channel and hopefully on random FIFA videos as well with another squad build. It's a 4-2-2-2 formation and I wanted to build a squad around Didier Drogba because I'm a huge Chelsea fan. Of course, Didier was massive for Chelsea in the past few years. Of course, moved on to greener pastures. Well, not necessarily greener pastures, just different pastures uh, in the past year or so. But uh, I built a hybrid around Didier Drogba. So let's jump straight in and in goal, we're going to have Helton. He is, uh, of course, Brazilian. Plays for Porto in Liga Portuguesa. 80 3 diving, 85 reflexes and 80 positioning on his standout stats. An extremely good goalkeeper. I've only played two games with this squad so far. Going to go out and play some more after I've recorded this to get some clips for it. But uh, in the two games I've played so far, Helton has been very, very impressive indeed. Kept two clean sheets as well. So we're uh, very, very pleased with that. 750 coins paid as well. A very nice price. And uh, into the defensive line at right back, we're going to have Danilo. Uh, obviously still Brazilian, still at Porto. 650 coins paid, 83 pace, 76 defending at the standout stats decent on the ball as well with 78 dribbling and 77 passing so very very pleased with Danilo was a fantastic right back last year and seems to be more of the same this then into left back we're going to have Sequeira now as a player that I've not ever used before 81 pace and 75 defensive rating on the face cards that's but again 81 dribbling and 76 passing so good on the ball another wing back that is quite tall as well at 6 foot so hopefully he can prove to be the physical presence we, uh, we need at wing back to cope with not really having too much width in the side when it comes to uh, the midfield. So into the centre-back roles, as you're going to have Inform Garay at left centre-back, 54 pace, 86 defending and 84 heading, obviously the standout stats, 73 passing and 66 dribbling, so again, potentially a little bit uh, rusty when it comes to his touch, but his passing should be quite decent out of the back four. Again, another big, strong physical presence, 6 foot 4, medium-medium work rate, so I did pay 21,750 coins for him. There was a bit of a price fix going on, there were a lot of them up at 60 grand, so I just grabbed the cheapest buy now. I could find and that uh, 21,750 was what it was and so far he's been very very strong and very very solid for me with the anchor chemistry style on him and then alongside him is going to be another Brazilian Porto player it's Mycon the of the troll Mycon 62 pace 80 defending and 83 heading with standout stats surprisingly I've been very very impressed with him actually in the two games that I've played so far hopefully he can continue to keep up the fantastic performances he's put in so far for me because I've been particularly impressed then as we move into the midfield we're going to have Felipe Melo. I will move him across to the left central defensive midfielder spot. And Juicelai, one from uh, the Russian League. Russian League, rather. Juicelai, 80 pace, 72 defending, 75 passing, 76 dribbling. Another big, strong physical player, 6 foot 1. Uh, decent. He's not stood out too much for me, as you might expect for a player that uh, isn't that good overall, potentially. But uh, still, he's he's been decent. He, uh, he complements... Uh, Felipe Melo very very well actually in that CDM role with 75 pace, 76 dribbling, 75 shot and passing 80 defending and heading the standout stats for Felipe Melo, high work rates both going forward and defensively as well, only 950 coins paid for though, so he's an extremely good all round player and they do actually complement each other quite well because uh, Juice Light only has the medium medium work rate so they do work quite well as a CDM pairing but then into the cam roles now Schneider on the left, Galatasaray and uh, Honda on the right from CSK Moscow still in the Russian League Honda standout stats are 82 pace 81 dribbling 81 shot and 78 passing although of course his main stat is his dead ball special speciality he, uh, his corners and his free kicks are particularly impressive high attacking work rate low defensive work rate 850 coins paid hopefully he can score a couple of goals for me in the next few games while I'm trying to get some clips because I do really really like Honda as a player and then on the other side is a player that I've never really gotten on with very well in a game of FIFA it's when Wesley Snyder, 72 pace, 77 shot, 87 passing and 83 dribbling. So you would presume he's going to be extremely good on the ball. Five star weak foot and only three star skill moves. But uh, one assist in the two games I've played so far. Hopefully he can contribute a lot more with that and maybe pick up a free kick or a long distance shot of his own as well as Honda in the camera. So they're really the kind of two long shot specialists sat behind the, uh, the two strikers. Like I say, not overly keen on Schneider when it comes to FIFA, but hopefully this year he can prove me wrong. And then, of course, up top, we're going to have the Ivorian pair of Dumbia and Didier Drogba. On the right-hand side, we're going to have Seydou Dumbia, 91 pace, 85 dribbling, 76 shot of his standout stats. 
Again, another player that I've not particularly gotten on too well with. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves. So hopefully the uh, the pace can prove the uh, the main factor for him in the next few games, and I can pick up a couple of goals with him because he's not scored for me so far. But Didier Drogba has scored for me so far. Three goals in the two games I have played with with him so far. Fingers crossed he can continue that scoring rate as I, I go out and get some clips with this side. 72 pace, 76 dribbling, 83 shot, and 86 heading. Now I'm recording this post pat, so I have to see if he's still as brutal in the air as he has been so far for me but he do, does have high attacking and high defensive work rates which is confusing for me as being a Chelsea fan having seen Didier Drogba play a lot of football for Chelsea he um, he only really puts in a shift defensively in the massive games like the Champions League final the uh, both games in the Champions League against uh, Barcelona in that particular Champions League winning season but in every other game that I've seen Didier Drogba play he is the laziest lump of poo I've ever seen in my life so I'm not particularly too sure why EA have given him a high defensive work rate that may prove a little bit detrimental as well considering uh, he is going to be dropping deep to uh, to pick up the ball but perhaps because he does have such a good long shot and he will have Seydou Dumbia running on past him he may be able to uh, create some chances as well as score them but that is going to bring the squad builder part of this video to a close guys so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind of course again feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already there will be links to do so in the description and uh, I will see you next time